Hi, it's Dr. Weideman again, and I'm in Chapter 6 now, and I'm going to show you how to use StatCrunch to create scatter plots um, and co calculate correlation coefficient. Um, so I'm going to use our uh, student data file, um, and let's take a look at, um, let's go ahead and make a graph. So we're going to go graph, um, and we're going to do scatter plot, and let's look at maybe height and shoe size. Um, because I would I would think that as people get taller their shoe size would get larger um, and I think that's really all I need to yeah to go ahead to do right now so let's take a look at the graph okay so what do we see here remember what we talk about on the scatter plot we talk about the form it's somewhat linear the direction it's positive and the strength I would say moderate to strong so let's go ahead and calculate the correlation so we're going to do summary stats and correlation and again, we're going to pick the variables that we were working with. We were doing height, and then control click to get shoe size. Um, let's see if there's any other options I want in here. No, that's all. Okay, so there's the correlation, 0.633. So that's a moderate correlation. Um, let's take a look at interesting um, thing we might want to look at is to go ahead and look at the difference between men and women. So let's go ahead and group by gender because we might see a difference in the correlation. So there's a stronger correlation among the women than among the men. Interesting though, when we separate the data out, notice the overall correlation de decreases. Um, that's kind of interesting to notice. Um, another thing that you could do is, um, there was something else I was going to show you. Oh, I know. Let's go back to stat. Um, summary stats correlation. Um, another thing you can do here is what's called a correlation matrix, which would be to select um, I don't know why these would be related, but let's look at a whole bunch of different quantitative variables. Um, I'll just put them all in the matrix. And so what's going to happen is you're going to see, um, and I'm going to add the correlation of column with itself so you can see what happens here. Um, now you're seeing the correlation of shoe size with height, work hours with height. Um, shoe size with shoe size has a perfect correlation obviously because if you graph the same variable on the x and y axis it's going to be perfectly correlated. Um, you can take that out if that's bothersome as you look at it. It doesn't really add much information. Um, but if we take a look at this we see that shoe size and height are strong, you know, the strongest correlation that we're observing. Um, I don't see anything else that's particularly interesting. Um, one other thing you could do back on your scatter plot, if you remember there are some options here. Um, I could go ahead and edit this and I could group by gender and then give some colors on that. So now when I go ahead and do the graph, this is kind of a nice graph to look at. The males are here with the red dots and the females are here with the blue dots. So that's kind of interesting to see on a single graph. Um, remember also, like we were able to do before, we can identify the outlier if we thought that was an outlier by using our mouse click um, and click back here on row to get rid of that. Uh, that's really all we do in this chapter um, in terms of using StatCrunch. So I hope this will help you get started.